Hey there. Have you ever explored the rich and diverse flora of Tunisia? It's truly fascinating how this North African country boasts such a unique array of plant species. Oh, absolutely. Tunisia's flora is incredibly diverse, thanks to its varied landscapes, from coastal areas to deserts and mountains. I've always been intrigued by the adaptability of plants in different environments. What specific plants in Tunisia fascinate you the most? Well, one of the most remarkable plants in Tunisia is the Sagzal tree. It's commonly found in the arid regions and is incredibly resilient to harsh desert conditions. The way it conserves water and provides shelter for various animals is simply amazing. Yes, the Sagzal tree is indeed remarkable. Speaking of desert plants, have you ever heard of the desert rose, Adenia mobism? It's a succulent plant with stunning pink or red flowers. Despite the challenging desert environment, it manages to thrive, showcasing the beauty of nature's adaptation. I have. The desert rose is not only visually appealing, but also has some interesting medicinal properties attributed to it. It's fascinating how traditional knowledge about plants has been passed down through generations, especially in Tunisia, where herbal remedies are still quite prevalent. Absolutely. And speaking of medicinal plants, there's the Artemisa rubalba, commonly known as white wormwood. It has a long history of medicinal use and is believed to have various health benefits. Tunisians have been utilizing this plant for its therapeutic properties for centuries. That's incredible. It's not just the medicinal plants that are noteworthy. Tunisia also has a rich variety of endemic plants, unique to the region. One such plant is the Tunisian bedstraw, Gallium tinutanum, a small flowering plant that is found only in Tunisia. The fact that it exists nowhere else in the world is quite remarkable. Endemic species indeed highlight the importance of preserving the natural habitats of Tunisia. Another fascinating plant is the Caroluma europea, a succulent species that's native to North Africa, including Tunisia. Its unique appearance and ability to thrive in arid conditions make it a significant part of Tunisia's flora. Preservation is crucial, especially considering the threats some of these plants face due to climate change and habitat destruction. It's heartening to know that Tunisia has several national parks and protected areas, such as Ichkul National Park, which provide safe havens for these plants and the diverse wildlife that depends on them. Absolutely, conservation efforts play a vital role. Tunisia's flora also includes a variety of fruit-bearing plants, like the pomegranate, punical granitum. Pomegranates have cultural significance in Tunisia and are used in various culinary dishes and traditional beverages. It's wonderful how these plants are not just ecologically important, but also deeply rooted in the country's cultural heritage. Speaking of cultural significance, the olive tree, Alia Europea, holds a special place in Tunisia's culture and economy. Olive trees have been cultivated in Tunisia for thousands of years and are a symbol of peace and prosperity. The country is known for its high-quality olive oil, which is not only a culinary delight, but also an essential export product. Absolutely, the olive tree is iconic. Tunisia's agricultural practices, including olive cultivation, have shaped the landscape and contributed significantly to the country's economy. The integration of sustainable agricultural methods is crucial to ensure the continued prosperity of plants like the olive tree and the preservation of Tunisia's natural beauty. It's evident that Tunisia's flora is not just a biological wonder, but also a source of inspiration, sustenance, and cultural heritage. Exploring the diverse plant life in Tunisia opens up a world of knowledge about the environment and the delicate balance between humans and nature. It's essential for us to appreciate and protect this natural treasure for future generations to come. Absolutely. Our awareness and actions today will determine the fate of Tunisia's flora and, in a broader sense, the planet's biodiversity. By promoting conservation, sustainable practices, and education, we can ensure that the beauty and significance of Tunisia's flora continue to thrive, reminding us of the incredible wonders of the natural world.